In this video, you're going to learn how to change percents to fractions. So this example right here kind of shows you. If we have 25%, then all percents mean that it's out of 100. Because the word percent actually means per and cent. The word cent means hundred. So you have per 100 when you are working with percents. So to write a percent as a decimal, you are going to change the percent to a fraction. With the denominator 100, remember the word denominator is found on the bottom of a fraction. So that is your bottom number. So your bottom number when you're writing a percent should be out of 100. Then you're going to divide the numerator by the denominator and you end up with a decimal amount. So that's how we can move from fractions all the way to decimals. But 30%, that means we have 30% out of 100 total possible. So our fraction is 30 out of 100. Let's try an example here. What is the fraction of 35% with a denominator of 100? So we're going to start writing our fraction with the denominator. Remember, denominator means the bottom number as 100. So what this really means is we have 35 out of 100% that we could have. So we have 35 over 100. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is put your percent over the number 100. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Try these examples. Pause the video and then resume it to check to see if your answers are correct. Remember that all percents are out of 100. Pause now. All right, let's check your answers. So if we have 45% and we're changing it to a fraction, we're going to get 45 out of 100. 23%, that means we have 23 out of 100. 8, that means we have 8 out of 100. And our next one is 91, so we have 91 out of 100. Now, as you notice right here, 120%, that's more than what we normally have for percents. So 120 goes on top, but we still have it out of 100. Now, a good mathematician would simplify all these answers when possible. They would find what you can divide numbers by. So we could actually divide that, this by 5. So 45 divided by 5 is 9. And 100 divided by 5. Well, how many 5s go into 100? That would be 20. Now you could see, can I divide 9 and 20 by anything more? If the answer is no, this is our simplest fraction of our amounts. On your worksheet today though, just getting your percent out of 100, because that's what the direction will say, will be a correct answer. If you want to take it one step further and find the most simplified answer, just make sure you show them both and how you got there. Good luck. Give it a try. Rewatch the video if you need more help.